Hi, I'm Julianne Cost. Let's take the next few minutes to find out how to quickly create custom layouts in Lightroom Classic. We'll start by setting the printer options. On Mac and Windows, this will differ slightly. We'll start by clicking the Page Setup, and choosing our printer, the page size, and the orientation. On Mac, I'll click OK, and then select Print Settings. But on Windows, stay in the Page Setup dialog and click on Properties. On Mac, I'll choose Printer Settings, select my paper source, the media type, and the output resolution, as well as any additional options as needed. For layout style, I'll choose Custom Package. In Rulers, Grids, and Guides, I'll choose the Grid Snap to Cells. In the Cells panel, I want to add a 4x6 cell, so I'll click on it, and I want to rotate it, so I'll choose Rotate Cell. Then I'll click and drag in order to reposition it on the page. I want to add a second cell. I'll click 4x6, but I actually want this to be 6x9. So I'll lock the photo aspect ratio and change the 4 inches here to 6, tapping Tab, which will lock the aspect ratio, making the width 9 inches automatically. I'll reposition it, then click 4x6 again to add another cell, and click to rotate the cell, and click and drag in order to reposition it. To add the images to the cells, I'll drag and drop them from the film strip into the desired cells. I'd like a little bit of separation between each one of these cells. I'll deselect them and hide the guides for a moment. Then I'll add an inner stroke. I can click to change the color, but for now I'll leave it as white, and then enter a width for that stroke. All right, let's show our guides again, and I want to add a few more cells. But this time I want to add a different aspect ratio, which I don't see here as one of the presets. I'll click on the downward pointing arrow, and if I can't find it on the list, I'll choose Edit. In this case, I want to make it 5 by 5 inches. I'll click Add, and then reposition it. I can also change the size by just clicking and dragging in the image area, and you'll notice that because the Lock to Photo Aspect Ratio is on, it maintains that aspect ratio. But in this case, I do want it 5 by 5, so I'll just enter that. Then I'll drag it down a bit, and I'm going to add another 4 by 6 aspect ratio, but again, I want it to be 6 by 9, so I'll change the values in the Cells panel. Then I'll click and drag in order to reposition that, and then I'll add another 5 by 5 by just clicking on it. I'll reposition it, and we can see that now I have different cells that overlap. Before I drag my image from the film strip, because the aspect ratio of these cells is different from the images themselves, I'll want to uncheck the Lock to Photo Aspect Ratio. Now I can drag this image in and it won't change the aspect ratio of the cell. If I want to reposition the image within the cell, I can hold down the Command key on Mac or the Control key on Windows and drag. I'll drag and drop the next image and the last image Again, holding down Command on Mac or Control on Windows and dragging in order to reposition it. If I click outside of the cell to deselect and we hide the guides, we can see that all of these cells also have the inner stroke because it's going to be applied to all of the cells on the page. But I don't like the stacking order. This image is on top of the center image, which is great, but I want to move the image on the left so that it is also on top of the center image. So on the Mac, I can control click or we can right click and then choose Send to Front in order to change the stacking order. If I ever wanted to see the actual dimensions of the image to make sure that I had enough resolution, I can enable that in Rulers, Grids, and Guides. If we scroll down to the page area, I can also change the page background color. For now, I'll leave it white. In the Print Job panel, I'll want to dial in the amount of sharpening 
designate the media type, and under Color Management, I want to make sure that I assign the correct profile. If I haven't used that yet, I'll click Other, find it from the list, select it, and make sure that there's a check here so that when I click OK, it's added to the list. If I ever wanted to add a second page, I can do so by clicking on the New Page option under Cells. In order to remove it, just click on the X icon. And it's as easy as clicking Print in order to print my custom layout.